Okay, we've got a R134A Freon tank. The uh, valve on this side is stripped out. So we are going to change out for a new valve. Ordered online, about $40, as opposed to $160. Tank visually looks to be in good shape. It's uh, not been hydrostatically tested, so we'll have to change this valve out and then take and get it, have it tested with the new valve in it. But as far as changing the valve goes, the issue becomes one of how to secure it so that you can get the valve out. What we've done is place straps across the table around the tank. These are rated at about 1,500 pounds a piece. There is a lock tied up here. I'm not sure if we'll have to uh, heat the tank to release that or if we can physically pull it off. On this side, we're pulling against it. We've got some rubber blocks, a steel uh, block that we use to work metal against, and a couple of vice grips to keep it from sliding off the table. And we'll put a wrench up on here. It's a, this one's an inch and an eighth. It's not propane, so we're not worried about non-ferrous. But if you're doing this with a propane tank, make sure it's emptied and pumped full of an inert gas. And again, it needs to be hydrostatically tested at an appropriate facility. Uh, these are, I believe, are set for about every five years of retest on these Freon tanks. So we're going to give this a try here. There we go. <laughs> it actually moved. Sight. <laughs> I should probably have somebody holding the camera. Okay. Right. I don't know if you get a better picture of it there. See, the valve internally is turning. It just doesn't ever tighten up. So we'll risk losing all of our Freon in the atmosphere if there's a leak, and that's not good for the environment. So that's the reason why we're going to change the valve. The new tank was about 100. Twenty to one hundred and fifty dollars. I saw some as high as two hundred. Oh, there we go. And yes, I did open the other valve, and this one was stuck open. Okay, about tube and pipe looks nice and clean. Get all of our stuff out of our hole there. Take a quick look inside. Make sure we don't have any rust or anything. Oh no, it looks nice and clean. Super, super clean inside. Alright, I'm going to take a new valve that we have here.